again for all of you doing well. And um, one thing I forgot to show you was how to do the uh, cabbage rose using the angle brush. So I am making a little video just for you guys um, because I know several of you purchased this brush so uh, that we can make these little scoops a little bit easier when we paint our, our cabbage rose. So I want to demonstrate to you, okay? I'm going to pick up my colors. I have berry wine and over here I mixed a little bit of yellow and white together to create like a buttery, buttery color. And instead of having to dip into three different colors, you can do that. So you could just pick up two colors. Makes it a lot easier. I'm going to pick up my berry wine and the light color. And remember, it's more of the darker color that we want to pick up and really blend well. Here, dip, dip, blend, dip, and blend here. Pick up a little bit of floating medium and blend again. Really flat. And I'm going to do my shell. Remember our little guide here that kind of helps us really let the brush sit down and scrub on the surface and remember you can do those that little circle here to help you uh, remember to leave a little opening and here is the sh um, shoulder that we're going to overlap remember the widest part of that shell stroke but that's the area that it gets um, overlapped here and another so if you do this correctly we will have about five of them if you put enough pressure and scrub, we will have enough room for five of them. Okay, so there's four. And I'm going to add my last one, picking up paint with every petal. Here we go. And release pressure and kind of slide in there. Um, if your petals aren't showing where it's overlapping, um, you need to pick up, make sure you pick up that white or whatever color, the light color that you're using, because that's going to help you separate each of those petals. Okay, I'm going to pick up more paint, and now I'm going to add my little bud right here. And remember, we want it kind of slightly slanted, up and over, and a good rule to remember, should be about the width of your brush, whatever size you're using. Okay, and that will help you, so it doesn't end up being too small or too little. And we're going to scoop right down here really dip and bring that back up. I'm going to re-scoop that because there's some little dried up paint in there. Hopefully that will wipe that off there. That looks better. Okay, now I'm going to add my side petals. Load the brush really well. I'm going to start right here where this stroke ended. Right here. And I'm going to start scrubbing, moving the outer part of the brush, rotating that. And I will now do that to this side way up high and turn 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 really rotate that brush and I have room for two more right here remember still overlap pick up more paint and right here so that's done with our second second layer and now I'm gonna add one more stroke right on top of there to clean that up okay if there's any kind of mess we do that right at the end there. Now I'm going to show you how this can help you with those last three petals. Because it's an angle brush, when we do this last part, the long part of the brush will be at the top. So this is the toe, here is the heel. So I, It helps me remember if I think of this as a high heel shoe here. So there's the toe, there's the heel. We want the light color on the toe, so I'm going to pick up a little more of the light color and more of the darker flower color. Make sure you blend the same way. Pick up paint about three times and blend right here. Now watch how this makes it a lot easier. When we start doing this stroke right up here, we are going to hold this brush at an angle because we want the entire chisel laying right over here. And as we rotate, we're going to rotate, rotate, rotate. And then when we do that little scoop where we want that nice fine line, we want to go back onto our tippy toe so that just this part of the brush will be dragging and it will give you a nice skinny line. Okay, so let me show you right here. We start way up here, entire chisel flat on the surface. So it is at a slight angle. I'm going to rotate the top, rotate, rotate, rotate. So right about here, I'm going to go on my tippy toe and scoop 
and cut off that bottom. You see how nice and fine line that this little brush gives you here? It makes it a little bit, a lot more easier to do this part if you're really struggling. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Lay the entire chisel flat on the edge there. Rotate that outer part. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Right about here, I'm gonna go on my tippy toe and kind of scoop right underneath that last one. See that? Neat. Now I'm gonna do one more petal. So if you happen to have some holes there, this petal will help cover it up. And we want it to make it appear like it's coming from underneath this one right here. So I'm gonna hold my brush at an angle and lean out a little bit and push and scoop right here and end on your chisel and that will give you a nice little point right over here. Okay, so that made it a lot easier by using this angle brush. I'm gonna just show you here, just my leaves. I know you know how to do the leaves, but I will show you again here. I'm gonna pick up, use my three quarter flat, blend with the dark green on the top. Have light green and dark green really blend well. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my flower color, which is berry wine, blend that into my light green. Pick up my floaty medium and Add it right here and really push, push, push and rotate. Okay. Right here. The left side's going to be a little bit harder. And the more you practice, that part gets a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to do another one right here. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rotate that green. And right over here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Brush handle straight up and down. Scrub, 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 and end on your chisel. And right here. Okay, I'm going to do one more and see that color, how neat that looks. What I did was right after I finished painting the rose, I just wiped off the paint, didn't go into water, and just picked up, picked up color. Remember, pick up dark color on the dark side. So I picked up the dark green on the berry wine side and the light green on the light side. And you will kind of get this effect. So I'm going to give, do one more up here. And rotate, rotate. Okay, and right over here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And end on your chisel, on your tippy toe, and that's gonna give you a nice fine point. And drag that stem right in, halfway into the leaf. I'm gonna do my little wisteria. So I've got my scruffy brush, pounce into our purple, right over here. Top, purple, bottom, my white and I'm going to kind of pounce in a circle and kind of taper off right over here. You want to make sure you have a lot of paint inside the scruffy because that's where a lot of people uh, make the mistake of not making it solid enough but we want to be able to see a lot of the dark purple, the light purple and some of the, the white along in there with the, with the um, dark purple there. And I'll do another one. Pounce, 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 in a kind of circular motion, taper it. Remember, use the edge of your, or the side of your scruffy to kind of help get that tapered shape there. And I'll do one more but here. Before I put one more there, I'm going to show you here how we can um, add some vines with this brush also. I'm going to pick up um, my dark green on the toe and light green on the heel. And just do some really skinny lines here. Okay, and that, uh, that really uh, helps you make those nice skinny lines if you're having trouble with um, doing that with your flat brush. Okay, and I'm gonna add some leaves. Now I'm gonna just wipe this off because I'm gonna now pick up dark color on the heel because the heel is the part that's going to lead this uh, for the leaves. And this also gives you a nice point. Okay. And put some right over here. Touch and lift. You see that? The little point. And over here. And I'll add a few more right in here. 
So this brush you can use for a lot of different things. It makes uh, your painting a little more easier too if you're struggling. Okay, I'm going to add a wisteria right up there. Pick up more of my colors. And right up here. On a circular motion, tap, tap, tap. Firm pounces. And kind of taper off right in here. Okay, so we want the top of this to look uh, kind of like a tornado or like a cluster of grapes. They do kind of taper off. And I'm just going to do some shadow leaves that's with floating medium and um, a little bit of the green that's left over on your brush after you wiped it off and I like to pick up a little bit of the flower color add a little bit of pink in there not a whole lot you see that's a little bit too much I see too much of that so I'm gonna right here and we can just add a few and this helps fill up your painting without it looking too too heavy or too busy because they're light and airy, transparent. See that? Here. And little curly cues. And add water to my script liner a little bit. And we're going to mix water to our little puddle of paint. Remember, you don't need a whole lot. And right about here, we want it inky enough so that it kind of moves around with your, when you just uh, kind of brush around. Because a lot of times we don't have enough water when we do our curly cubes. So right here, tap it a little bit so we don't get a big drip. And hold your brush. And if you can use your pinky, that helps hold your keep your hand steady as you do this. Okay. And just drag the tip. Drag. The, whoop, this one, I'm going to start from over here. Just drag the tip. Just too much pressure can make this uh, a lot harder and not come out as nice. And you can go back and do this. Have the stems if you need it. Okay. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, email me. We'd we'll love to talk to you. And um, good luck. And congratulations again. Take care. Bye.